what it means to be a lithium? Life, mate. It is life. Just everything. Do you want some time to think about that? Well, I do because it means so much. Being a member of a fantastic club. Good fun. Good company. What more can a guy ask for? Camaraderie between bike and companionship. We get out with your mates and do a bit of riding and have a good time. I think they can play with their toys when they're all the boys. <laughs> Telling lies, good lies. Yeah, telling lies. Truthful lies. <laughs> it's mainly enjoyment to get out with different people. I enjoy it all right for the day. What it means to be Elysium? Uh, friendship, camaraderie, similar interests, the joy of motorcycling. Fun and enjoying yourself. That's what we're doing. Um, I ride free and I ride cars. That's about it. <laughs> and I ride a bit caddy. <laughs> It's like a big family. You go out on a run with them and they're all friendly, they talk and chat and it seems at the end of the run it's, I just don't want to go home. And to have Stephen Burnley over here who is, is the culmination of everything I think, old number one himself, it's great to, to, to meet him and uh, I think all, of, all our members are really enjoying him the experience of having him around. Uh, Are you talking about having Stephen Dunley over for the ride? What was that? Hold number one. What's the matter with me, Grum? Thank you. 
known now, uh, Brian in particular, on the very first, at the very first meeting of the first group, they also went on the very first drive. They were the first uh, people to stand up and give three mental hands, and uh, they attended our first meeting. So of course, we just started the wondrous band, wondrous band of wondrous, and uh, we're the first on that board. And if you've ever ridden with Brian, you know that he always was the first. <laughs> and of course, this is what we did. And that's what we did in our final direction back on that feeling. Feeling the new coach. Uh, Stephen, of course, is the man who started the whole thing for him. And then he was out on the train for the man who started his name. So I'm going to do a lot of the joy. Wouldn't be an easy land, I suppose.
I'll send you now that he's a free man of the book, very new book, and I'll show you the last duty that uh, the outgoing secular reform was to remind us that we'd received a letter from Stephen suggesting that uh, we might support the Arthritis Foundation. Another committee meeting, it was the air that we might do a charity ride. And I remember the bill said, well, if that's the case, why don't we ask Stephen to uh, accompany us on the ride and perhaps lead us? And I can remember thinking that that is absolutely outrageous and that we couldn't possibly do it. But after a little bit of talk, um, I remember I had a card that was Stephen, it's a personal card, and as they said, that tended to make me a long, long personal thing. <laughs> so I rang Stephen and said, no, Amazed him. He, without hesitation, said, "Oh, it sounds like fun." And from there, it took off. It was good to hear from from Marvin. A bit unexpected, but uh, lovely, just the same. And I thought, "Well, that's great. That's a good response." You see, this letter had gone to all the groups, asking just they're not a fundraiser, a fundraising organisation, but just to put on one event in the year for the Arthritis Foundation, which is the Trust for Third Charity. And uh, I said, "I would like to get the invitation." And even more delighted to be here. And it's been a terrific weekend, Martin. Thank you very much for everything you and your committee have done. It's just magnificent. Yes, I Yeah, well, that's, that, that's one of the big things, is the, uh, to come right across the other side of the continent and find that Ulysses over here is just as lovely and crazy and friendly and happy as it is over on the eastern side. And uh, just as generous in, in every possible way. It just shows how the club is a universal or an Australia-wide organisation, quite genuine, not without any regional jealousies or differences. One of the, the spin-offs that's, that's come from the weekend is the unifying of, of the groups because uh, Perth uh, promoted us, but they, they gave us um, the helmet collection, they put up a raffle. Um, I remember one of the chaps on the rod, John Carrot, um, put the helmet around and collected a, a, a really decent sum. And just the sheer presence of having you here has made an enormous difference to the way people feel about you. I know everyone that's attended has come up and said that to me. But, uh, that's not, so although we intentionally started to support the Arthritis Foundation, the spin-up has been a great training of the youth community. That, that, that is absolutely marvellous. It's, it's just wonderful to be here. And I feel very privileged and honoured that uh, it's lovely to meet so many new people too. And uh, the Arthritis Foundation benefits as well, which is great, because it's one of those organisations which is a bit of a Cinderella compared to Cancer Council or Heart Foundation and things. It's one of those horrible, slow-moving diseases which puts there's no cure yet. And uh, I think they're funding a research fellowship, which is great. And I think Ulysses is doing a big work there. I guess a question is other people, and particularly uh, people that um, don't know you. What does it mean to you, Stephen, to be a Um, It's a very difficult question to answer, really, but I suppose it does mean that it's encouraging myself and other people to live a full and active life into later years. Uh, not to be uh, wasting time with the wonderful gift of life we have, and uh, to, put, to put it to the full. And it gives me a terrific buzz to see older people, husbands and wives, children left home, husbands and wives out enjoying themselves on the bikes and things. I just marvellous. And age and background is no barrier. Mm -hmm.